Hello my lovely friends, long time no see. In this video I will talk about the most important skill of life is feudal. Obviously I'm talking about cooking. If you're just starting out, keep in mind there are two skills that you must have at the, at the very beginning of the game. It's cooking and forging. These two skills are probably the most important ones in the game period. Cooking because depending on food quality you get food quality buff which increases the speed of your leveling tremendously. Uh, when you start out you usually have like 1.5 at best food quality and with good food you can go up to 4 easy peasy <clears throat> and up to 5 if you have tier 5 food. Well which isn't as easy peasy. <laughs> okay. In this video I will talk and explain all I know about cooking. First of all, how do you level this skill? The best and easiest way to do it is with floor. You have some floor, well obviously first you need some wheat. Uh, let me show you, I think I have some wheat over here, yeah. You need some wheat, you can get, uh, get wheat from uh, wild plants gathering or you can plant a lot of wheat and get it much easier. Uh, with wild plants it's also pretty easy. You just kind of search for wild plants, obviously, and you can do it too. This way you can actually gather quite a bit. I did it in FK and I think I got about 70 to 100 a day. Yeah, as you can see here, it is one wheat, and this is flax seeds. I think this is another wheat, so it's, it's pretty easy. After it gets enough wheat, you grind it into floor by using this coin stones like this. This is advanced uh, farming skill so basically you will level this skill, this skill, this skill and then by doing this action so you can actually prepare yourself for leveling cooking by just gathering a lot of wheat and grinding it. Then when you have enough wheat we have, you can use oven or big cauldron or kitchen which I don't advise you to ever use when you level it. So let we go with our, our oven Put in some charcoal and let's cook. You need to cook, not use prepare food. Prepare food will level your nature's lore, it's a totally different skill. And you make bread. As you see, sorry, it requires only one floor. With my current food quality, it's super easy. You do this. And let me show you how much. Well, I actually did it previously, as you can see, but I had a different food quality. See, uh, this is how much I get. Personally, I didn't have enough floor to level my cooking due to many different reasons, so you may actually encounter the same problem, but I had more than enough cabbages and codfish is super easy to get, you just go fish for 5 hours and you will have a few hundreds of it. Cabbages can be gathered with wild plants the same way I gather the wheat right now, or you obviously can plant them and uh, harvest a lot. But this you will be able to craft this uh, meal or dish over here, codfish with cabbages. Sadly, this dish yields two times less compared to bread. This is just a fucking ridiculous system, another one of life is feudal. You get shit ton of experience by making one ingredient bread. You actually won't be getting as much experience from most of these dishes, even with four ingredients one, or even five ingredients one. I don't know, it doesn't make any fucking sense, it's just how this game is. That's basically it, this is how you level the skill. Now, what you need to keep in mind is the higher quality of your dishes, the more food quality you will get. Uh, and each uh, food uh, can be well divided, I, I guess, up to five tiers, uh, depending on how many ingredients were involved in making it. One ingredient, food, two, three, four, five. 5 ingredient food yields, uh, gives you not only a lot of uh, food quality, it also gives you 5 luck and uh, inspirational, uh, inspirational work, which is uh, increases speed of your actions. It's really cool. I actually made, as you can see here it is, I made a fish stew quite a few days ago, 100 quality tier, tier 5 food. Yeah. But I will talk about this one later. Now let me show you what you need to keep in mind when you make a good food. Next I'm gonna show you let's say high-end cooking 
and what you need to know about it. First of all, it's a kitchen. Kitchen is uh, one of the most important structures in the game period and for cook the most one for the one. Because kitchen increases quality of your dish. Even if you have, uh, let's say, high quality ingredients, uh, three of them out of four, but your fourth ingredient is kind of low quality, about 50 to 60. If you have a kitchen, you will have a, you will make a really good meal. So, without further ado, let's go and cook something. Obviously, you need to add some fuel and then you start cooking. Uh, for using kitchen, you actually don't need any tools like uh, the one I used when I showed you how I was leveling it. Primitive cooking quality is really bad if you want to make a good meal because it increases quality quite a bit, so keep this in mind. But for kitchen, it doesn't matter. And I'm gonna talk about the easiest to make tier 4 dish. The easiest one. Every fucking guild do does it. It's tough rabbit. This one is the easy, the most, the easiest one to make. Because white meat is easier to obtain. It's just uh, in any, any cook. You get super high quality white meat. As you can see, I have 95 and it's not really the best. Apples. Again, super easy to obtain, and if you work a little bit on it, you will have a 100 quality apples all the time. Cabbages, again, not that difficult to obtain, and you don't even need them to be 100 quality. 70 to 90 is enough. Game meat, obviously, super easy to get, shit on of it. Usually, though, it's gonna be like 70 to 80 quality. Now, what you need to keep in mind is that you don't probably don't know is cooking outfit. This is really useful thing to have on your cook because as you can see my cooking is 97 almost but with cooking outfit it's almost 109. This will increase quality of your dish even more even if you use shitty ingredients. As you can see I have quite a shitty ingredients right here. Cabbage 71, game meat 76, 76, apple 36 and white meat 95. Now let me cook it and you will see what I will make. Stop rabbit, produce. And here we go. I made 91 quality stuff rabbit. Thanks to cooking outfit. Without cooking outfit, I would have made 88 quality one. So I got plus three quality just thanks to my outfit. That's insane. Uh, if I had 100, quality, uh, 100 cooking, I would still get about 89, maybe 90. Not sure. I think when, uh, about 89. So I would I would get additional two quality just from uh, my outfit, which is which is super great. Another thing about cooking that you need to know is flavoring. Uh, you get flavor from uh, herbalism. Oh, this skill over here, but it's gonna be only about 30 quality. So if you wanna have, if you need to have a high quality flavor, you need alchemist. But that's gonna be uh, material for another video, I guess. What you use flavor for is increasing quality of your dishes. You right-click on flavor bottle like this, choose flavor, and then choose a dish you wanna increase your quality of. This is the problem. One flavor bottle only for one dish like this you need to use only one dish and uh, depending on the quality of your flavor you can increase higher than something for example i won't be able to increase quality of this stuffed rabbit higher than this because this quality of flavor can increase only up to 85 quality but i can use it to increase these uh, meals over here uh, let's say codfish as you can see 848 and after applying flavor but a boom it became 50 so I can do it over and over until I, this meal reaches 85 quality but I won't be able to increase it higher than that sadly I can't show you on any of this because they're too high quality but well I guess you can get the idea let's turn off this kitchen without we don't want to waste those charcoals that's basically all you need to know about cooking, guys. Uh, this is the easiest tier 4 meal to make. Tier 5 obviously uh, depends on what blueprints you have. It's it's all, all random. You get blueprints for tier 5 when you make any tier 4 meal. 
So just prepare a shit ton of ingredients for stuff rabbits and make them like 500 stuff rabbits, for example. That's like 250 crafts. The chance of getting a blueprint is about 5 to 10 percent. I think about 5 percent. It's a basic. So increase your luck as high as possible with jewelry, with uh, tier 5 food, with buff, and then make your tier 5 dishes. If you made about, let's say, 200 dishes, that's 100 crafts, or let's say 400 dishes, which is 200 crafts, you will get about 10 to 20 blueprints out of them. And as I said, blueprints are totally random, so you will get all around the different regions. You can trade them with people who actually need them, or you can uh, strive to find uh, tier 5 ingredients for those from those regions. It can be fun, tier 5 food is always great to have. It gives you 5 luck, 5 plus uh, food quality, and inspirational work for 20 minutes. So, that's it guys, thanks for watching me. Stay tuned for my next episode of Lift Tip. See you later. Drive school.